Right now, I'm about to give you guys the tea. This is how to get free stuff, and it works every time. It's foolproof. Listen in. Tune in right now. What's up, you guys? And thank you so much for tuning back into Taylor Time TV. On today's episode, I'm going to be spilling all the tea on how I got free clothes, free hair, free everything before I even got 1,000 subscribers or 1,000 followers. Now, you have to watch the entire video and compile everything I'm saying to be able to get this free stuff or you guys, it's just not gonna work. So if you're not gonna watch the entire video, just tune out right now, just tune out. Now, let's get right into the tea. First things first, if you want free stuff, I recommend that you guys compile an entire list of a bunch of brands that you guys wanna work with, a bunch of brands that you already use, and a bunch of brands that are relevant to your lifestyle. Do not just compile a list of brands like Gucci and Louis Vuitton and you've never worn Gucci or Louis Vuitton or anything like that. You have to start off small and I recommend that you start off with stuff that's already in your closet and I'm gonna explain why. So what you're gonna do once you have that list is you're gonna go through and you're gonna find stuff that's already in your closet or stuff that you already own, skincare products or whatever, and you're gonna take a whole bunch of pictures with them. Once you take these pictures, make sure they look nice, they're quality, they're very clear, they're very lifestyle, very bomb, giving you a vibe. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna post these pictures and you're gonna tag the brand. Tag them on the picture, tag them in the caption, tag them in the comments, DM people, ask them to tag them, tag, 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 tag. You guys, these brands see when you're tagging them and how much you're tagging them. If you really want a brand, tag them as much as possible. Make posts constantly tagging the same brand. Once you have built up a rapport and you're kind of like, they're kind of familiar with you, whether they've contacted you or not, then I recommend that you guys DM the brand or email them. If their bio says just email them, then email them, don't DM them. Cause sometimes they won't respond to your DMs. Tell them, I love your brand so much. And you guys, the important thing is, and I'm telling you guys from experience because I have a business where a lot of people mess up is that people will say, oh, I want this or I want that. Nobody cares, okay? You're coming to a brand and you're asking them for something. They don't know you. You, you're not offering anything. So be smart with it, you guys. I always get brand deals and collaborations because I always ask the brand how I can help. I'm asking them and trying to build a, a relationship first. You really wanna like talk to these people like, hey, is there anything I can do? I tag you guys, I love your brand. It, what numbers do I have to get? How many likes do I have to get to be able to work with you guys in the future? And nine times out of 10, you guys, you're gonna get a response because you're coming to these people very humble and you're not just asking for free stuff. I recommend that if you're a smaller YouTuber or smaller influencer, Instagram, whatever you are, that you ask them for a gifting opportunity first. A gifting opportunity is when they will give you free products in exchange for a tag or in exchange for a review. You're more likely to get that as a small influencer because they know that you are small, so you are a micro influencer and you're a little bit closer to your actual audience. So you're more likely to get more engagement and they and brands are working with micro influencers just as much if not more than they're working with big macro influencers and the regular influencers so they really value seeing everyday people posting their products don't think just because you don't have a like a lot of likes or you don't have a lot of followers that brands just don't care about you because they actually really love that i've seen people with 500 subscribers have more collaborations or sponsorships than me or you know than someone that i've seen with 20,000 50,000 and 100,000 so it's not about that you guys it's about engagement and the way to get engagement is when you do post your picture with the brand let's just say for the sake of this video you like a skincare brand and you take your picture with you know whatever the skin cream is that you're using right now i'm about to give you guys the seat this is how to get free stuff and it works every time it's foolproof listen in tune in right now what y'all need to do is once you post your picture with the brands tagging the brand as much times as i told you to tag them you need to dm all of your closest friends dm everyone who interacts with your post and tell them to tag the company tell them to say how much you know like oh my gosh i'm gonna try this out say stuff like 
tell them to say stuff like, oh, I'm gonna try this out, or you made me wanna buy this, stuff like that, because that's going, the brand is gonna look at that. Anytime a brand is tagged, they're looking in the comments because they're trying to see like, okay, what's going on here? Are, yes, yeah, she has a picture with the skincare, but are the people in the comments actually caring about the skincare or are they just caring that she posted a picture and they're just saying nice picture, blah, blah, blah. So that's why a lot of small influencers are able to get collaborations because they have an engaging audience that's actually saying like, hey, I bought this because of you. I remember I was just under a thousand subscribers and someone commented under one of my videos or one of my posts that was like, I saw you post this and I now I'm gonna go buy it. I sent that to a brand and I was able to, you know, sign on a deal with them because I'm like, hey, I've been promoting your products. Other people are telling me they're using it and they like it now. And that's how I was able to secure that. If you don't actually have the products that you want to work with, I recommend that you guys go get a product that looks exactly like that product. For example, I wanted to work with a waist training company, but I didn't have a really good waist trainer. So I just went and found like a really old waist trainer that my mom had or something like that. Or you can go buy something that's like the off-brand version and you take a picture with that and you can send it to the company or start hashtagging, you know, waist training, blah, blah, blah. And that's how companies find you as well. Speaking of hashtags, hashtags is going to be very important when you start putting influencer, brand ambassador, you know, skincare enthusiast, stuff like that. A lot of brands are using these hashtags and they're looking for more people to work with. A lot of the times, if you just want free product in exchange for a review, a company is more likely to work with you because they're, they don't have to actually give up free product and pay for someone to promote. So brands are pretty open about giving, doing gifting opportunities, like I mentioned earlier, where they just give you the free product and you tag them and give a little bit of a review. Also, I do wanna throw in a bonus. If you did stay this long, you do deserve this bonus. There are a bunch of affiliate websites that you guys can sign up for. Literally, just go to your Google search engine. Do not wait for someone to comment in the comment section. Go to a Google search engine and type in affiliate websites and there will be a bunch of websites that will approve you to work as affiliates. The downside about this and why I'm not actually going to go and like put this, put the names of the affiliate websites in this video is because a lot of the times these affiliate websites are just giving you products that you don't necessarily care about. They're not big brand products. They're more like startup companies that are just trying to get influencers and people for their brand but if you just want free stuff in general and you don't care about it being a particular brand then definitely go to an affiliate website and just sign up with them and be an affiliate for different companies also a lot of the times with these affiliate websites they're just going to give you a 10 to 15 percent discount on the products from that particular website. So if you're someone that's actually trying to do this full time, I don't really recommend the affiliate websites long term. It's good to start off with because like I said, you guys are gonna wanna have actual content because you cannot just be an influencer if you don't have like content. That was the biggest thing that I had to get over. I'm like, okay, I want to, you know, start working with brands. I wanna start working with companies. Why is nobody giving me a chance? And then I looked at my page and I was like, I don't have anything on my page that shows like a lifestyle. You know, I don't have anything on my page that shows that I'm using brands. So you guys, once you start using brands, like for example, with this, if I start taking pictures with this and you know, showing me using it and stuff, I will start getting companies that are selling that, you know, I can't, for YouTube purposes, I can't say, that are selling that and they'll be reaching out to me and then, you know, you hashtag it and you would be surprised by how many companies will come and contact you. But you guys, be aware of companies that come and contact you first when you are smaller because a lot of these times, these people just want you to pay for the product secretly. Like they'll be like, oh, we're giving you a free product, just pay shipping and really you're paying for the product, do not do those, none of those. If you are really an influencer, if a company is legit, you're not gonna have to pay for anything. You won't have to pay for the product. You won't have to pay for shipping. You won't have to pay for anything. You'll get the product, you'll do your review or post your picture and that'll be that. 
I highly recommend that you guys get contracts with these companies. If the company does not give you a contract, definitely write up a little contract. You can Google contracts because a lot of these times these companies will promise you pay in the beginning and then when after you do all of this stuff, you won't get the pay. Again, that's if you are working with companies that are offering pay and you're not just trying to get free items in exchange for nothing. Also, this is a huge, huge tip only for the people that did not skip around and stayed on the video. And this is the most important tip. That tip is that you guys need to be posting these products in your stories the most, like absolutely the most, because when you tag, when you post the product and then you tag the company, it automatically goes to their DMs. So nine times out of 10, they're gonna open up their DMs and figure out like who just tagged them. Like people do that, companies do that. It's just natural to wonder who just tagged you in something. So the company is gonna see that you're tagging your brand. They're gonna watch your whole story. So you guys, one thing that I learned that I'm so glad I know now is be careful what you are posting that whole day, okay? Because the company is going to see the story you posted and they're kind of going to watch your story. Like, I remember when I posted Fashion Nova, like, they kind of watched, like, two more stories after my Fashion Nova post. And I was like, oh my gosh, I was not expecting that. So I definitely recommend that you guys cut down the cursing, you know, anything that's really not brand friendly. And I absolutely hate that whole brand friendly thing because that's what I'm working on now. That's why you have your own business on the side. But you guys are going to have to watch my How to Start a Business videos for that. Anyway, the point is, make sure that you guys are being very professional. You don't have to be dry and not be yourself, but make sure like, okay, if you are tagging a skincare company that, you know, maybe you're posting some healthy foods or maybe some pretty like a skyline or something like that, just make sure it's very like vibe-ish. You know, you can always like look at other influencers and see what they're doing and see how they're posting. And that brings me to, if you guys are absolutely lost and you have no idea how to post, follow me on Instagram and I'm giving you guys permission to copy exactly everything that I do because I had to learn from watching other people. Honestly, like that's what it is on social media. Everybody gets inspiration from each other. Like you don't have to exactly copy but it's okay to get inspiration and get your own little twist on things because at the end of the day like this influencer might do this but they were really influenced by kim who was really influenced by somebody black you know it just goes on and on and on and on so the point is like it's okay to see other influencers and be like okay i liked how she posted her coffee like i'm gonna post my coffee similar but i do want to say take heed to that because people do pick up when you're like copying someone because we all follow like similar people on instagram so it's like only so many people that are popular so just be aware that like people can pick that up because it's like so many people that i follow that i can tell they get like so much inspiration from jada or so much inspiration from ari because it's like you can just tell. So you guys definitely still have your own personality because at the end of the day, you are you and a brand is gonna work with you because you're you and not because you're acting like this person. So I wanna say, I'm only giving you that tip to tell you guys, it is a certain way that you can post things like, you know. Aesthetically pleasing. You know, everyone says aesthetic, 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 aesthetic. That's all I hear now on Instagram and, and YouTube. But it's so true, you guys, like, there's a certain way that you post stuff that makes it pleasing to the eye, like a mental psychological thing. So that is why these influencers are influencers because they make things look nice and they make them look pretty and, and brands will pay them to make things look nice and pretty. So make sure when you guys are tagging these brands that it looks nice, it looks pretty, it's clear, and that you are brand friendly, that you are not cursing out people or posting you know, crazy things or crazy memes or anything like that. Make sure that you guys are you know, looking like someone that a brand would want to work with. Now, be yourself, absolutely, but I just could not give you guys that tip without giving you the full tea because you know that's how I'm going to give it to you. But I just wanted to throw this topic out there to see if you guys wanted more information on this topic. If you do want more information on this topic, please comment down below that you would like more videos on this topic on how to get free stuff, how to work with brands, and how to reach out to brands, what to say, brand templates, etc comment that down below and hope this was helpful thank you so much for tuning in to taylor time tv now i need you to binge watch the last episodes and catch up on the new episodes and i'll see you in the next one